Hello, welcome to the channel. I've got a fun little project for the shop today. I've got two windows on the side of my shop. So I want to put some flower boxes underneath them, and I've come up with a little solution, I think. Uh, my windows are like 40, 43 and a half inches. So I cut these at 43 and a half inches. I had these, I built some shutters for our house, and I had these uh, one by twos left over. So I cut these. Uh, at 30 degrees. Now you can do these flat. You don't have to put this angle on them, but I'm going to do my box kind of like that on the front. Kind of makes it look a little bit better, but you can do these straight. Basically, all you have to do is these are like seven inches and these are like five and a half inches. If you're just cutting them straight, you can just cut them both at seven inches. But you want to take your seven inch pieces. I picked this sucker up from Lowe's. It was $100. I have used the crap out of this thing. It is so handy to have around the shop. It's just a little brad nailer. That's what I'm going to be using for this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be uh, tacking these on the ends like so on each side. And then we'll take our shorter pieces on our other pieces and just tack them like that. Then we'll put that together. This is a 1x4 that I uh, painted black. And I'll show you why. In just a minute but uh let's get these put together there's a thousand ways to do this this, this is just the way i'm doing it take your pieces throw it down i'm going to take these pieces and just get them lined up be careful not to staple your hand shut Like that then just do that on the other side the same thing on this end I'm just going to squeeze these together like that set that aside Take this piece and just do the same thing with the shorter pieces. It's helpful if you have somebody to help you do this, but I'm going to do what we got right now. Just do this the other side the same way. I love this little nailer. I put tongue and groove in our house, and I've I've probably put ten thousand uh, nails through this gun, and it's still going. I've dropped it from about ten foot, <laughs> so. So basically what we're doing is, you know, that we get these pieces, we get those lined up, and have little angles. Now when you have those on, just take your other uh, pieces that you have, just nailing them onto the front, just like that. I can do this by myself. Same with this side, just nail it to the front. Okay, have your little box. Now, same thing with this side, just gonna be nailing it to the front. Now you may be asking yourself, why aren't you using screws? Well, I don't want to. I think this will be fine. Why use a screw when you have this brad nailer here? 
these are inch nails, but they have two inch, three inch, I mean. Okay, you have both your boxes. You just set them on each other, just like that. You just set your boxes on top of each other. Just get everything lined up. I'll take my nailer and just go on the side. Just kind of angle down. And just tap them in. Like that. Same thing with the other side. Okay. Same thing with the back. Just angle it in. Just tack it in. Like that. Now, have your little box. On my windows, I've trimmed them out and uh, painted the trim black. That's why I painted this piece black. Uh, maybe it will tie it all in. We'll see. Just take my black piece and you just put your little uh, one by four on the front edge and they will leave a little bit of a gap here which will uh, help with drainage, I think. So put that on our front edge. Line it up. Just want to tack it down. Tack this side. There you go. Now we got just a little bit of a gap here. Look where your water can drain out. There it's then. There we go. Now I'm going to stain it. This stain is a, a colonial maple and English chestnut mixed half and half. It's really pretty stain. Just going to stain. I'm going to stain the inside. There's a thousand ways to make these boxes. This is just this is just the way I'm doing it. There's probably somebody out there like, oh my god, this this dude don't know what he's doing. Well, I'm just making something with what I had. Zero dollars is pretty good to me. Making these to go on my shop. My wife may like it for the house after this. Maybe not. You don't have to make more of them. Now I'm going to seal the crap out of it. This is not treated wood, so I'm going to spray some sealer on it. I use this Thompson's water seal. There we go, check it out. I think it's a nice little box. Better than what I had, which is nothing. So I'm gonna go put these on and I'll show you what they look like. Check it out. <clears throat> See, my windows are black and I put that black piece on the bottom. So I think that kind of ties it in. I did the same thing on the other end. Now I just gotta get some flowers and put in it and make it pretty. If you like this video, subscribe, and I appreciate you watching, and I'll, I'll catch you next time.